Yo, what is going on guys? This is Sun bringing another Dragon Ball Fighters video and today we're going to be talking about Dash Block and how you can incorporate it into your gameplay. But first let me talk about what it actually is. Like the name suggests, it's basically when you dash and block. So you press forward twice or 6-6 six, six, and then back to block. Now notice my command history on the left. It shows me going forward twice and then back at the last second. Just to avoid any surprise attack they might throw out. Quick note guys, you can actually do this with forward heavy and special, which is essentially forward plus super dash. But the problem with this, if you do this, there's a slight chance super dash might come out. So I wouldn't recommend this unless it's actually more simple for you. Now you'll notice that I also do the dash block in the air. So once you're like trying to go in, you jump and you press back just in case they do a sneaky attack in the air. Here's a little example of why this helps. Because once they see you dashing at them, they'll think you're going to do an attack. So you'll block right at the last second. Now this really helps in neutral because you'll notice there's some players that will spam key blast and they're just waiting for you to super dash. So once you're close enough, you'll actually be able to punish them. Characters like Z Broly will make this extremely hard, but you should be alright if you practice this long enough. And if your opponent catches you in the air or they have better air normals than you, then this should work effectively. So if you dash block to get in, then not even Team Gohan's DX legs will hit you. Now dash blocks work really well against Vanish, so here's me blocking a regular Vanish. Now here's me using the dash block. Now let me tell you guys why this is even possible. This is because after you block a Vanish, it's not technically airtight. This is why you can level 3, you can reflect, you can DP off of a Vanish. Now since a dash is technically only minus 4, you can still block afterwards. Because any normal that's minus 5 or lower is not safe on block. This is why dashes are possible. Now y'all are probably thinking what's the big difference between the two. You still blocked it regardless. And while yes that is true but dash block during vanish does actually beat other things. So let me show you guys. Alright so they're gonna get their vanish. I'm gonna block it. Oh but they decide to cross me up and then I get punished. Now let's try the dash block. Oh I went right under him. Okay well I guess I'll just back dash then. Oh. There, 2M catches me. Now let's try the dash block again. Oh, and we blocked it. But the one thing that does beat this is Dragon Rush, so be on the lookout for that. So if you predict they'll do this, then you can just hit them after your dash block and you should be good. But the best way to deal with this is to react to it and just tech it. Okay, but what if they predict you would do this and try to level 3 and you dash block? What will happen? Oh, you can reflect and punish. Okay, so what about DPs? Nope, that doesn't work either. Now the same rule applies for when you block a 6M mid-screen. So here's my regular block. And now my dash block and it works just the same. Block the 6M. They catch my back dash with their large normals, like 21 or Vegito's. But dash block fixes this as well. They call my back dash with the IADJH. So I go right under them with my dash block. Another cool tip to use this guy is when you're in a sliding knockdown in the corner. If they try to catch your up tech, you dash, and then you punish. Dash block plus assist is actually very strong, especially if it's a defensive assist. Because if you try to get in and block, they might try to go like for an overhead and the assist will clock them. And they might be in the air and might throw an assist and you won't see coming, but if you dash block, you'll block it just in time. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you learned something about dash block and maybe you can incorporate it into your gameplay and maybe become a better player. But anyways guys, if you like my content, please be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!